me encourage you again I say this to you from the depth of my heart and I say this to you in all truthfulness and I say this to you with all audacity if you listen to the truths that I teach you you will never fail it's true please like our videos subscribe to our YouTube channel share our videos with your friends may the Lord bless you as you do this so your first connection to the economy of heaven is your tithe. Now, how does God bless us as tithers? This is why. This is what I want to tell you. Because many believers do not know how the blessing comes. How does the blessing come? There are two principal ways God releases the blessing. Number one, the favor of God. Favor with God and with men. This is one vehicle of receiving the blessing of God as a result of your tithing. Favor with God and favor with men. Please write it. Number one, favor. That's how the blessing is channeled. Favor with God and favor with men. Number two, ideas, concepts, and insights. Ideas, concepts, an insight. Samadhi and me wrote a book, Ideas Rule the World. If you can, if you can lay your hands on the book, you can read it. A very powerful book. Ideas, concepts, and insights. Can I tell you something? The Bible says in Exodus 31, it says, I have called Bezalel and I have anointed him with the spirit of wisdom and creativity to uh, do all kinds of craftsmanship and this and that. There is something called the spirit of Bezalel. God giving you ideas, concepts, insight. In Job 32 verse 8, the Bible says, there is a spirit in man and the inspiration, the breath of the Almighty maketh him of understanding. These are the principal ways that God channels these blessings. To us in the earth. Concepts. Ideas. Insights. Are you listening to me? You are a faithful tighter and you just sit down. And God just opens you up. Look at the gentleman who came and shared the testimony about his book. Are you following me now? God gives him what? Insights. You are just sitting and God gives you an idea. I hope you know that when God gives you one idea, it can, you can bring a generational blessing to your generation. Just one idea from the Lord. Most of the people who brought inventions to our world today were people who were faithful and they adhered to God's principles. So favor suddenly doors begin to be opened unto you. God brings favor. He was saying he was just sitting down and a text message just came into his phone. Many of you do not believe in this manifestation of God. Where strangers come to feed your flock. A stranger just calls you and says, give me your account. And I say, forget your lady, I just your friend or a stranger. I'll never forget in 2007, someone called me 6.10 in the morning. Called me shaking under the anointing and said, Is this Joshua Selman? I said, Yes. He said, Send me your account number. I said, Ah, who are you? He said, That's not the most important thing. God gave me an instruction, send me your account number. And that was the first time I began to see this manifestation of strangers. Reverend Dr. Uma Okpai said that one time they needed some money. And then from the money, God instructed him, they gave tight and they did everything. He said he came to the drawer of his office. And suddenly, the Holy Spirit just told him, open your drawer. And he opened and he saw the exact amount in an envelope written to him. Nobody could have accessed his office. He called his secretary and said, what is this? Say, I don't know anything about it. Many of you do not believe in these manifestations. These are the blessings that come on account of being faithful titans. See, I'm telling you this. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. Many of our parents would have been better people today if they had the opportunity to receive these teachings. Are you listening to me? And so, the favor of God and wisdom, ideas, concepts, insights. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching.
Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button to know when we upload more videos.